uh, it's really there. You know, it's what we practice. That's the big thing. We don't ask the kids to do anything we haven't worked on. Mm -hmm. uh, try not to ask them to do anything that we haven't taught yep. them, and spend a lot of time trying to develop. But it, bottom line, it's up to them to execute. Yep. And we probably even did it more so last night. Uh, just really sharp execution. Obviously, got off to a little slower start tonight. Um, but we hit some balls hard, and just they made a great play in center, and then uh, kind of a. Made a good catch there and left. So we just thought it was a matter of time we did something going. And, uh, but, you know, I think they believe in what we're doing and, and they're pretty confident. Uh, but, you know, we just a couple signs and I had a, had a, definitely got some areas we still want to work on. But, you know, for two uh, games early in the year, we you know, got to be pleased about that. Yeah. Well, and you've said every year, you want to be playing your best ball right now. I mean, you just, you just want to. You've got to start playing and then recognize what's there and then start working on this thing. You said there's some couple signs and a couple of defensive things, a couple of things you want to work on, you know. Yeah. But but for a first night and going back to even last night, it's certainly got to be encouraging to see everybody produce. Yeah. Oh, and we've got uh, 16 guys in last night, 15 and 16 in tonight, yep. and most of them have made some pretty good contributions. So that's exciting. Um, and you're right. But for this early, you know, Connor Smith, for example, I'm sure he's not totally pleased with his pitching performance, mm -hmm. but I am. Mm -hmm. and when you think of the fact just slightly over two weeks ago, he was draining threes in the basketball region. That's right. That's right. So just, you know, 16, 17 days ago, mm -hmm. he's still shooting basketball. And uh, here he is uh, starting a baseball game and, and did, a, did a nice job. And he's going to do nothing but get better yeah. each time out. So uh, thrill with that. Dane looked good on the hill. Nice to get Shad in there. So we've gotten five pitchers in the first two games. And we're going to be tested here shortly. Yeah. West Lafayette's a good club. We've got next Monday at Wabash, and then we head to Tennessee to play teams that are on game number 15 to 20 already yeah. uh, in a tournament with uh, several really top schools from the national area. So, yeah. is there? Any, you expect good things. You expect these things out of out of everybody. You coach them. You, Absolutely. Has, has anybody stepped up a little step ahead or above what you thought of, after a couple? Of years? Um, well, the big thing is we always have high expectations. And absolutely, know absolutely. I mean, you oh. know, if you've got the Carpentersville uniform on, whether you're a starter or you're coming off the bench, we yeah. expect you to be able to do, you know, and execute and contribute to the team's success. And, but, you know, come to mind uh, Nick Page. Uh, he was a first-time varsity starter a year ago. And mm -hmm. he had a hard time relaxing early in the year, and he's come out as a great, confident leader and hit the ball hard tonight, had a great bunt, stole three bases on Game one last night, played mm -hmm. good defensive center field. So he's kind of emerged as a physical on the field leader for us. And, uh, that's huge and a great weapon for us. But uh, of course, Garrett was dominant. It's always great to have a dominant uh, pitcher out there. He was dominant last night. So, yeah. And then our two freshmen have just had two really good games out the gate and have been asked to do a lot of things already that maybe the average fan watching you know, doesn't see. Mm -hmm. And then we Trent in a very important position and a lot of responsibility at shortstop. That's right, that's right. And, uh, and it's come up with a big hit in each of the first two games. So it's just a really good start all the way around. Nathan Bear's been a good leader after missing all of last year with a knee injury and playing a new position. He's had a great start as well. So just look to improve and get better. Mm -hmm. Had Brian on, helping out, just on that one, during the top of the fourth. Uh -huh. And one misplayed ball. You know that little that little shot that goes out to center field. Mm -hmm. You know if if he's able to make that play, it would have been a tough play. But if he doesn't turn improperly, kind of you know, gets out there, gets that, mm -hmm. that inning may have changed dynamic. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. and he said that exact thing. He said, "Can never give Crawfordsville the extra out." Mm -hmm. he said it right there. He goes, "This is this is, this does not bode well." And nine runs later. <laughs> well, you know, that's what you like to. And you know, we say often, most games are lost, not won. Mm -hmm. You know. To uh, make some mistakes and get extra outs, right? Right. Uh, but you got to step up and take advantage of it. So, yeah. um, you know, it's two games, and we're really glad to be in there. It's such beautiful weather, and yeah. uh, off and running, it'll go quick. Exactly.